What do you think of lab leak theory being true? Uh, how will Elon Musk's relationship with China be affected based on his opinions on lab leak theory? I mean, depend, by the way, it depends what you mean by lab leak theory. Is it like accidental lab leak or... Because I think the purposeful one. I think we, I think is, we can yeah. take the purposeful malicious one just off the table, honestly. Let's remove that. Right. Yeah, okay. Like, I, I think yeah. that's reasonable for us to say, like, okay, let's not even go down that route. Like, okay, I good. guess that's possible, but, like, you know. Yeah. It's more and likely I, natural mm -hmm. origin or accidental, I think. Accidental level. Right. Um, I haven't looked. This has been ages since I've been talking about the um, – COVID and stuff is I this I how, how far are we like have you been what do you think was the lab big theory is that true? so I I looked back into this a little bit more and I'm of I'm of mixed minds in a couple of different ways I think um recently the director of the FBI for the United States Christopher Ray came out and said that the FBI concluded that it you know most likely was a lab leak. But then you look at that conclusion and they say based on moderate evidence. Uh, mm. And then the other was the Department of Energy or something, the Department of Transportation. Like it was a totally just random government department in my opinion. But they also came to that same conclusion about the lab leak. But again, apparently in that conclusion, specifically stated that it was on like what was it? It wasn't like super crap evidence. That wasn't what they said, but they basically said just kind of a guess. Um, I don't really think that the FBI is somebody that I should give a crap about when they talk about medical conclusions that they have made, especially in another country, specifically considering that the FBI's jurisdiction is the national border for the United States. So that's not a very compelling expert in my opinion because they are not experts at all they they just genuinely do not have any understanding of it um anthony fauci himself was once quoted as saying that he hopes that there would have been more information and more transparency and i i don't think it's unreasonable to say that um the CCP has not been forthcoming with stuff and we're obviously trying to, you know, hide information at the beginning. Right. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, I, I, I guess one of the things that always gets me is that it seems to be more people than I realized are, are really, really confused about how bacteria and viruses start to infect and kill humans. So, Every major virus and bacteria that I can think of that we don't like comes from animals. That that's that's just what happens. Like syphilis, AIDS, um, like uh, strep throat. You guys, the freaking flu. Like all of these things come from older animal bacteria and viruses that have mutated and jumped to humans, and so. Mm. I mean, I remember having a conversation with a buddy like, you know, back in early 2020 where he was like, but yeah, like, like, come on, Elliot, that's just silly, man. You know, like viruses really jumping from cows Ebola. and bats. And I, I yeah. literally just, I right, I literally just listed off every yeah. single virus that I could think of. And I was like, all of these come from animals. Like, we know this. We're positive about this, you know? Um, yeah, it, sure. it seems that honestly, there isn't concrete 100 percent either way mm. but it seems to be that the the natural course is the default position that's the one that makes the most we assume that this brand new uh medical intervention doesn't work until we get the evidence that it does right and so that base assumption in this instance is that it probably came from animals you know, like that. I mean, makes even the if most it, sense. even I mean, even the lab big theory could be compatible with came from animals. It could, it could have come from animals and it leaked in the lab. Yeah, true, 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 but, absolutely true. But that adds an extra element onto it, right? That's yes, that's yes. adding another. That's not following with Occam's razor. The Occam's razor right. would would tell us. 
we don't need to multiply the entities. And if it's coming from nature anyway, and it's just jumping through sure. these different animals, it makes more sense to go with that before. You're right. You're right. Until we get good evidence. And again, I'm not I'm not here to like like freaking stand for the CCP, you guys, and be like, no, they've been great this whole time. Like they've just been super dressed. No, they've done a crap job of of trying to show that they, they truly don't have anything to hide, I think. But at the same mm. time, it still honestly fits the pattern more so to say that this virus passed back and forth between a bunch of different animals and eventually got into this, you know, open air market and stuff. But yeah. So still, you know, we so, should look. So yeah. So let me just read this. The lab leak theory is a hypothesis that the COVID-19 virus originated from a laboratory accident in Wuhan, China, where researchers were studying uh, coronaviruses. This theory is disputed by many scientists and experts who argue that the virus most likely jumped from animals to humans at a market in Wuhan. This is called the natural origin theory. There is no conclusive evidence for either theory so far, but some people have called for more investigation and transparency into the origins of COVID-19. The World Health Organization, or WHO, conducted a joint study with China in 2021 and concluded that the lab leak uh, was extremely unlikely, but some countries have expressed concerns about the credibility and, and independence of the study. So now let's go to Elon Musk. Elon Musk um, has recently engaged with theories that COVID-19 leaked from Chi mm -hmm. a Chinese lab on Twitter. He replied to a tweet that uh, shared a report by the U.S. Department of Energy that concluded that the virus likely emerged from a lab accident in China. He also uh, liked another tweet that criticized China's response to the pandemic. That's weird. Elon is usually very... You know, go ahead, doesn't go take, ahead say it. I, he I, was, I thought what you were going to say is normally Elon is like really careful about the things that he tweets and stuff. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. Elon, I was normally, no, no, that was, I wasn't going to say that at all. I was going to say he doesn't take an anti Chinese, oh, China yes. stance yeah, because he has a lot of business in China. So I don't know why Boy, that, that's, that's out of character for him. Mm -hmm. Um, his act, so. Um, Elon's actions have drawn criticism and warning from Chinese state media, which accused him of biting the hands that feeds him. Oh, wow. China is the second largest market for Tesla and accounts for about 40% of its sales. The state-run newspaper Global Times said that Musk should respect China's efforts to contain the virus and not spread unverified rumors. Jesus, I wonder why he's doing that. This is going to really, this, I mean, I don't know. It'll be very interesting to see what the fallout is with it. I would, I would also, um, you know, be very comfortable in saying, honestly, how Elon feels about this particular, you know, thing in, in the world. I, you know, I don't care. That doesn't matter to me at all. Like whatever Elon comes to and, and his, you know, nice little jammy jams at night, you know, right before he goes to bed and he just cuddles up and he goes, ah, I think lab leak theory is correct. I will <laughs> never, my opinion will never be super, like, like swayed either way by that. You know, like uh, if he comes out tomorrow and is just like, you know, I, I actually guys, I think it's all natural origins. I think it's great. You know, all natural origins. It's like, well, cool. But, but yeah, I mean, it is weird that he's, it's weird that he is do, doing something that he should know will will affect his his business dealings. He he should have good awareness of that, but also he should have had good awareness of like the market with Twitter before buying it, before saying that he would buy it for such a high price. Well, so he I, claims that he has less financial incentives and more like saving the human race incentives. But but anyways, <laughs> well, okay. <laughs> Get my best-selling book, Why There Is No God, for free. Click on the link for it in the description.